What's going on guys, Coach Vic here. Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be going over the Freddie Freeman drill. Let's get into it. There's a clip of Freddie Freeman in the batting cage working on the front toss and the tee, and he talks about this white line in the box and how he uses it as a guide for his hands to follow in order for him to stay inside the baseball and keep the barrel working through the zone for a long time. Um, and so what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of explain that a little bit and show you this very simple drill that is inspired by that very clip of him, okay? I set up the tee about in between the corner of the plate. We got the front inside corner of the plate right in the middle in between the corner and the white line. And so then I'm gonna kind of be a little bit more back in the box, but then I'm gonna tap my bat on that, in, that inside corner and so from this position, this ball is nice and out front, but it's also pretty far inside. So it's for some people might be a very uncomfortable location, not necessarily a pitch that you uh, might want to swing at very often. But what I believe that if you can learn to, to stay quote unquote inside this pitch like Freddie Freeman does, you can definitely improve how well you hit this pitch and, be, and therefore become a better hitter, more dangerous hitter. So we set up in a launch position, feet about bat's length apart, slight bend in the knees, butt's kind of back, chest is forward out over the toes, hands are back, knob catcher, we got the chin on the shoulder. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire from here, I'm not gonna shift, I'm gonna stay right here, stay centered, turn through this ball, and I'm gonna keep, my, keep the knob of the bat working through that white line and la allowing the barrel, creating a clean path for my barrel to work to the inside of the ball. I am trying to hit this pitch on the inside half. Due to its location being as far in as it is, it's not gonna be that easy to be able to hit the inside. If I do hit the inside, there's a very good chance I'm gonna kinda clip it and it's not gonna be that hard of contact. But again, we're, the, the purpose of this is to train the swing, to train the movement, the feel that we wanna create when we are in games. Because you gotta remember, a lot of this stuff is gonna go subconscious. Once you go to a game, you're not gonna be able to have control over it. That's why feels and things that you work on in the cage might be a little exact exaggerated because when you go into a game you're not going to be able to execute it to that degree right and the game speed of things can create differentials between practice and games so let's get into it working on thinking elbow knob turn it staying over that white line boom gives you a nice clear path to this pitch so another tip here is to that posture right so if i were to take this swing and i were to pop up out of posture now my turn my rotation my bat path is starting to now flatten out and it's starting to go out and around resulting in a rollover possibly even your wrist rolling over which often people think that is the main cause of a rollover not necessarily rolling your wrist could be the could be more of an effect rather than the cause. So before you rolled your wrist, there's a very good chance that if you got an inside pitch, you may have popped up in order to create space, or at least you think you're creating space by popping up to get to that pitch. And that's true to a degree. But if you have to move and come up too far, more than likely it's just gonna be too much movement and you're not gonna barrel up the ball the way you'd hoped. So really focus on keeping the butt back and the chest forward. Head is almost nearly over the white line as well. And so when I take this swing, I want to finish and I want my head to also be over that white line. That's just a good indicator that I'm holding posture all the way through my swing. Again, here's our position our launch position where I'm ready to rock and roll here. And so what I want to have, again, you can see here, my first move is working, is my turn and working toward the inside of this ball. Uh, I do believe this is also where you're gonna get this knob to the ball kind of debate. The knob to the ball isn't, a, isn't supposed to be a push to the ball, but more so a turn the knob to the ball. Um, and so this is kind of where you can get that feel, right? To work from our body, to be connected, to be tight, tight as in tight turn, not tight as in 
tense tight, but tight turn working to the inside of the ball to then release the barrel at the proper time. So to hit this pitch, I need to get into good position in my load. Boom. Now, when, once I get into launch and I'm firing, I can maintain that position and I can have a good direction here to work to the inside part of the ball. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you'd like to see more drills in the future. Uh, this way I can start pumping them out for you. Okay, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.